All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Today our topic is very simple, but yet it's very confusing. Uh, and for sure it's confusing for those who don't have knowledge. Uh, before we start, please invite your friends, share the link on Facebook, Twitter, wherever you can, so we can get more people to be with us and to learn. And don't forget about uh, to download the video after we finish broadcast. The God of Islam, his name supposedly is Allah. If we search, trying to find out from the Muslims, who is Allah? You will find the most funny, silly answers ever you can imagine. But we have to be honest here. Not only Muslims, they have silly answers. Sometimes even Christians have silly answers. Not only about Allah, even about if you ask him about Jesus. But the problem is, if somebody is a Christian and he don't know really much, that's because he is not educated. But in Islam, no Muslim knows who is Allah. And actually, the educated Muslim is more confused from the uneducated Muslim. So in Christianity, we might find somebody, like just yesterday we were talking about Jesus, and then some Christians, they say Jesus was a Jew. Oh, okay, well, he is your God or he's a Jew? No, he is a, he's, he's God and he is a Jew. So here is notice that this is a childish thinking. He is your God. He is the God of the Jews. He is born between the Jews. He is born from a woman. She is a Jew. But his existence have nothing to do with his birth. Before Abraham, I am. So we know the existence of Jesus. He said, I am the beginning, I am the end, I am the Alpha, I am the Omega. Still, you find some silly who do not know really who is Jesus, and they think he is just a Jew. He is the God of the Jews. He is the King of Kings. He is the beginning, he is the end. Everything was created by him and for him, which means the Jews are created for him. So how you say he is a Jew? So uh, the problem is, we have people who have a very a naive thinking. It's like, you know, you ask a person, describe for me, uh, uh, did you go to uh, the palace uh, of, uh, let us say, uh, famous palace, let us say, the most famous place? And he don't remember anything from the palace except the door. That's it. This is the whole palace. So human being, there is many of them or let's say many of us they are very uh, surface thinking especially when it's come to God because thinking about it deeply maybe it is tiring for some so they are lazy even to think when we speak about God and you claim that you believe in God shouldn't you know even who's your God as an example if a Muslim says to me well, how you believe that Jesus is God and yet he is a man? Well, God, he can be whatever he wish. And he is God because he is almighty God. So if God cannot be man and cannot be God in the same time, that means he cannot be almighty. So here you contradict the, the logic of calling God almighty. So why you call him almighty? Why you call him almighty if he is limited? If he is limited in ability, if he is limited to be what he wants to be or what he is, so are you going to be the one who decide what God can be? And this is here the problem with oh, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Sorry for that, guys. I have a delivery from Gabriel. Uh, by the way, in Islam, there is no Gabriel, there is Jibreel, just in case you do not know. There is no Gabriel. 
there's Jibreel, which means even the name is wrong. Now we go back to our topic. If we try to read articles about Allah, Allah God. To God, Allah belong 99 names. Supposedly now the Muslim who made this article, he is telling us who is Allah. And now he gave us an answer. Allah have 99 names. <laughs> what this have to do with who is Allah? And if you read the names, you will see how funny, how silly they are. As an example, Allah is the proud. As an example, Allah is the believer. Allah believe in what? So when when somebody speak about God and we ask him who is your God and he do not know, obviously he is very confused. He do not know. So why you are telling me Allah have 99? And by the way, why Allah have 99 names? Well, what does that mean? What is what is that exactly? And the funny Muhammad, he have 99 names and Allah has 99 names. How that could be? So you just made an, a man equal to your God. Both have names and actually they share the same names almost. And by the way, if we ask the Muslims where the 99 names is coming from, they will not be able to, to, to show us the 99 names in the Quran. And actually I challenged the Muslim to show us the 90 names of Allah from the Quran. They cannot find them. It's a fabrication. Muhammad, he said it, and the Muslims copy paste. And Muhammad always he say things which is false, and Muslims they copy and nobody notice. And I will give you an example of false explanation for the Muslims about who was God. It is known the fact every language has one or more term that use reference to God, and sometimes to lesser deities. This is not the case with Allah. Allah is a personal name. Until now, by the way, he is being honest, but not too much. Which is a true God. That's it. This is the only true God. That's it. If you have the front name, you, have, you are wrong. This is the wrong God. Okay. Nothing else can be called Allah. Nothing else. Nothing, nothing. The term has no plural or gender. This is shows its uniqueness when compared with the word God, which can be plural gods or feminine God. By the way, this is false. Because how you confirm there's no gender for it if this is not even an Arabic word? Where do you, where do you get this from that this is not without gender? And actually, we can prove that this is have a gender. If we go in the Quran, We will find <coughs> your God Allah saying the following Your God Allah saying the following Not my God, your God. And I challenge the Muslims to say, uh, That Allah has no gender. And we will see how that can be. When we speak about Allah, why the Muslim they keep saying he if Allah has no gender? If the word Allah has no gender, why they keep saying he, his, him? You know what I mean? You see, uh, once uh, uh, a Muslim said to a Christian, why Jesus is a male, not a female? A Muslim asking question, why Jesus is male, not a female? So now the Muslim is trying to use his brain. Okay, why God, why Jesus is not a female? Let us say, why God don't have a daughter? Why he have a son of God? Well, why don't ask yourself first, the God of Islam, he reject to have daughters, and actually the Arab before Islam 
they worship the three daughters of Allah. So when you ask a Muslim, you as a Muslim, why Jesus was male or or he is a male, not a female. Why you don't ask yourself why Allah get upset that the one who worship females is worshiping the Satan? It is your God who make a big issue about gender. Jesus coming as a male does not change the fact that still he is holy. He have no sex. He have no partners. He have no female partner. So being as a male will not change the fact that he is God in the same time. Additional to this, do Islam accept females to be a prophet? In the Bible, we have women who they are prophets and judges. Prophets and judges. And you can go right now, search in Google, you will find many well-known names in Islam we cannot find one person is considered to be a prophet and she is a female and Allah believed that those who worship a deity which is a female deity they are worshiping the devil Allah have a complaint and he said do you take for yourself Children's who they are male and for Allah is the female So what Allah is a problem Allah he is complaining that the Arab They gave him the daughters and they took the sons Allah don't like that and even he says this is for sure indeed unfair division So if Allah not a male, why he is so much upset about the gender? If the God of Islam don't care about being male or female, why worshiping a female is an issue for Allah? And why he like to have a male? Even the angels, Allah, he refused according to the Quran. And when I say Allah, that's me, Muhammad. He says that those who they are kuffar, the bad ones, is the one who give angels female names. So even if you give angels female names, you are a bad person, you are satanic. And not only that, is there is any angels are females? Absolutely not. Chapter 17, verse number 40. Are you serious? You Arab, you believe there is angels who they are females? You are disgusting. That's what it says. So when a Muslim, he speak about his God, saying that Allah is a plural word, has no gender, that is a big fat lie, because every word in the Quran saying he, he, he. However, still we need to prove it more and make it more clear. Shall we make it more clear? <clears throat> because a Muslim, he might say, oh, this is not enough. So what if it says it is he? Eh, not a big deal. Do you have a clear proof that Allah is a male God? For sure we have a clear proof. But are you willing to read it, Muslims? Are you willing to accept what is written in your books? Are you willing to be brave and to say, that is a crazy? If we go in the Quran, and we have tons of verses in front of us, all the Quran speak clearly that Allah he reject females he like males and all his prophets are males and all the angels are male you remember when we showed you the verses saying that are you going to give names of females to the 
to the angels you must be a kafir that's mean Allah he is confirming that only all the angels he have they are male otherwise why he upset from giving names to the females and why he's upset if you believe that an angel he is a female obviously Allah is upset for he rejects such an idea this is a disgusting idea for Allah do we have any Muslim in the text any Muslim making a challenge again just to remind reminder if there is any Muslim he claimed that he is a sheikh or etc if you have a Facebook page Post in your page that I challenge the Christian Prince to debate me. We will check your Facebook if you are really a sheikh, not just a kid. You know, I will. I, will, I just give, give us your Skype and I will call you immediately. But after you post in your Facebook, and we check that you are a legitimate person, and when we say legitimate, we mean, you know, not anyone claim to be. Okay, I want to debate Christian Prince. Because we want people to uh, to have a benefit of a conversation. Conversation with kids is useless. Now, if we go in the Quran, we will find a clear verse saying that Allah is a male and he have a penis. How we can prove that? In chapter 21, verse number 17, and this is the Muslim translation, by the way, I have nothing to do with it. I'm just showing you whatever they have in, their, in, the, in the screen as it is. It says that if Allah wanted to have uh, lahwan, in here, then in the English, they say pastime. Lahwan in Arabic is a word meaning a woman, which is coming from the word fun. So, if we want to take a woman as partner, we will take it from our kind. Now, if Allah is not male, why and how Allah will take a woman to be his partner? You know what I mean? Now, some Abdul, they might say to you, this guy is lying. There is nowhere in the Quran it says what he is saying. So what we will do now? As you know, we don't say things without giving reference and proving it to you. That will be not right. The Muslims accuse us to be lying even when we show it in the screen. So imagine if we don't show it. So chapter 21, verse number 17, we will go in front of you and we'll read the interpretation together. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan owned by the corrupt King of Jordan who claimed to be from the family of Muhammad. And this is the Muslims' interpretation. Not mine. I have nothing to do with it. This is Tafsir al-Jalalain. Had we desired to find some diversion that which provide the version in the way of a partner or a child. We would have found it with ourselves from among, uh, 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 read carefully with me, among what? Among what, guys? Do you see it there? Do you see it? Among what? Among the beautiful eyed Huris. Those are the females which Osama bin Laden and all the Mujahideen, Allah promised them to have bing, bing, bomb, bomb with them. So if Allah is not a male, how Allah is going to have virgins who they are a human to in his bed, if he desire.
Do you understand? Do you understand people? If Allah is not a male, not a female, as they claim, and they lie to us always, but yet all the Quran says it is he, it is he, it is to him, it is he. Why you don't say it is she? Okay, say sometimes she, say sometimes he. Or what about say he, she? Like Shamshi. This verse confirm that if Allah want to have a woman for fun, for sex, lehwan. Now, by the way, we can show you from the Islamic interpretation that the word lahu mean women. We are not making things up. And I would change any Muslim to say this not doesn't mean. And even here, even your scholar says that if you want to take a partner or a child, which means if you want to have a wife or a girlfriend to do bang bang with her, to have a child, he will choose them from a what? And here we have a problem. Anyone notice what the what the problem? Additional to having sex with the beautiful eyed women. Anyone notice? <clears throat> Adjust the screen. Oh, you don't see it all. Okay, sorry. Better now. All right. So what is the what is the other problem here in the screen you see with me? Somebody help me. Ourself, thank you. What's your name? Uh, Cruzito. Cruzito. Can't you make your name uh, easier for me to read it, my friend? How Allah is one, and now Allah will have sex with ourself. As you see, when He said ourself, He said from among. The beautiful eyed and the huris and the angels, which means it's possible for Allah to have sex with the angels. So Allah is a bisexual. The female are the beautiful eyed huris. The angels are males, and we showed you the verses from the Quran. You can't even give them names of females. So Allah saying, not me, if Allah wanna if somebody. He will if ourself, which means himself, and then he explain what is ourself is. He says, the one I will if first, I will start with the beautiful eyed women or the angels. Any Muslim here can answer? You see, look at the Muslims in the chat. They are calling me names, but nobody can answer me. Call me all the names you want. I mean, here we go. This is your scholar. This is, not, this is your Islamic website. It's not my website. So what we will do now? Huh? Any Muslim? Uh, uh, the guy, his name is CP, the liar. And Noah, he drank in wine. And uh, he was naked in his tent, so? <laughs> Brother, I was naked yesterday, too. I took a shower. I mean, this is how silly they are. They have no answer. We have God is going to F himself, and they are worried about Noah. Who is Noah? What is a big deal? You're a prophet. He was naked. Do you want to show you the hadith? You're a prophet. He ran to open the door, open the door to men, and he is totally naked. And you're a prophet was a drunken. And not only that, you Muslims, you pray and you are a drunk. And even the Quran registered that. And you're a prophet used to teach the Muslims how to make wine. But we don't want to change the topic, but just to, you know, just to spank you a little bit, you know, just for like a snack, you know, so you can get busy. Is that your Quran or this is my Quran? Who are they, the Abdul, who used to pray and they are a drunk? Are you the Abdul? You are making fun of Noah and he was a drunk. All of you Muslims were a drunk in the mosque. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> 
as the old Ibrahim, <laughs> brother. A brother, why does Thilin is moving, brother? A brother, the Kaaba is not moving. It is the vodka, brother. It is the vodka. They arrested a woman in Saudi Arabia airport, and she have a bottle of whiskey with her black label. So the police, he said to her, aren't you ashamed of yourself in this age to bring whiskey with you to the city of Mecca? She said, my son, I'm very old. He said, what does this have to do with drinking whiskey? She said, I cannot go around the Kaaba. I drink this whiskey, the Kaaba will go around me. That makes sense. So Abdul, don't talk about Noah was drunk. Your prophet is a drunk. You Muslims are a drunk and your God himself is a drunk. Don't you see what he's saying? He's going to if himself. We go back to the topic. Here we notice that we have a three problems. Problem number one, it is possible for Allah to have sex. Otherwise, it's going to be stupid to say, if we wish to have a partner for sex, we will take it from the women or the angels, but he cannot do it. So what do you mean, if we wish, if you cannot do it anyway? You know what I mean? If I say to you, if I want to buy, I will buy from this store. That's mean I am able to buy. Is that correct? Do you, do you understand me, guys? Am I understood? If I say to you, if I drive a car, I like to drive uh, four wheel drive. That's mean I'm, I can drive, right? So when I say if I want to have sex, that's mean I can have sex. Otherwise, why you are saying if I want to have sex? The screen is burly. The screen is not good, guys. Did you say the word al-wadud? You have to say the word al-wadud, 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 and then uh, you might have heart attack. It's your internet, my friend. So, when Allah He says to ourself, Allah destroy all the Muslims that claim that Allah is one. If we go to the Muslim articles, they say to us right away, the oneness of Allah. I mean, they give you a headache with the oneness of Allah. Allah is one. I, who care if Allah is one or four, Abdul? Who care? I mean, this is not my this is not my topic. Let us say Allah is seven. Let us say Allah is twenty. The question is, He is one or two or three. Or he or, or is exist or not? If there is somebody have a he worship ten thousand gods and they are exist, it means he's right. So what the numbers have to do with the proving anything? So the Muslim is so proud. We believe in the monotheism. You're right. Well, Shaitan, he believe his God, and there is many they worship him. Right now, there is a church in in, in in San Francisco, satanic church. It's called the Church of Satan. You will see them wearing blacks and putting rings in their noses and their ears, etc. They worship Satan. They believe he's the only God. Now, here we go. This is monotheism. So what monotheism mean? So we ask you, who is your God? You say to me, Allah is monotheism. Well, nice to meet you, monotheism. Hey, monotheism, how are you? Well, monotheism, I am one too. I must be God. Trust me, I am not too. The only time I feel like I am too, uh, you know, if I like go in a, in, a, in the mall, you know, like you see, there's many mirrors and uh, windows, etc. So you see reflections. Like suddenly I became many, and because I'm an Arab, I get scared sometimes. So they keep repeating for us, our God is one. So, but you do not know who is your God. Who is the Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge between all those who are playing in their noses, trying to find some boogers to throw at me. Who can answer us how Allah He says ourself, and He is talking here about taking partners. When we ask Muslims about we, they say we, it's a majestic, like a king. He says we. So Allah copying the kings? That's funny. So he's not we, but he call himself we. So why sometimes he say he? 
and why say he sometimes he say I? Why you don't always say we? We 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 we. So Allah, when Allah he say we, he don't mean that he is many. It is he is one. Okay, but when Allah he says ourself, he mean what? Any Muslim can tell me. When Allah He say ourself and He's speaking about having sex with the partner, are you insisting Muslims that ourself mean Allah will have sex with Himself? <coughs> Anyone remember how Shaitan have sex in Islam? <coughs> Anyone who remember how shaitan have sex in Islam with himself? Anybody remember? I don't want to draw here, but it's okay. I mean, we will, we will try not to make it too much. According to the Muhammad and not to me, Allah created shaitan. This is shaitan. Okay, this is shaitan. Let us make it handsome. Handsome shaitan. Okay, this is shaitan. Very handsome. This is his nose. I saw him in the circus last time, circus, you know. And then suddenly, he, this is uh, his body. Okay. And those are his legs. Okay. Now we are going to go to suspense and action. The Muslims, they were wondering. How the shaitan, how Allah he says, are you going to worship shaitan and his kids? But Allah, he kicked only one shaitan from heaven. So how he have kids? He did not kill a female with him. So they come with an idea or Muhammad by uh, inspire them that Allah, he have a penis in the right leg. This is his penis. And he have a vagina in the left leg. So when shaitan wanna have sex, he shake his legs and he if this with that. Alhamdulillah. Now we found the reason how shaitan have babies. And then shaitan, after he shake his legs and do bing bing to himself, then he lay down 10 eggs. 10 eggs. Not 9 or 99 like Allah. No, they are 10, brother. 10 eggs. Now from every egg, how many, how many shaitan they will be born? Anyone remember? Anyone remember? Nobody remember how many shaitan they are going to come from each egg? 70, thank you. 70 egg. So now, okay, let us calculate our numbers. Shaitan, he laid 10 eggs from every eggs we have. Uh, 70. But here, here is the beauty. The 70. She, the 70 babies are not all male. They are male and female shaitan. So only the first shaitan, he was male and female in the same time. So 70 x 10. What is the total? 700. Beautiful, cute. Satan, male and female are born from the first day. And every day, every day, not every month, this is every day. Shaitan, he if himself by shaking his legs until now, nothing changed because he doesn't have a wife still. So, Allah, you know, I mean, He is the all wise. He taught us how Shaitan he did if himself. Now we go back to Allah. When Allah He says, If I want to have sex, I will have sex with ourselves. Is Allah going to do what Shaitan did? Or he is going to sleep with the beautiful eyed women as you see here in the screen. The Muslim's opinion is Allah will not F himself. He is going to do boom boom. I, I learned this word when I was in Asia. Uh, a woman she said to me, Sir, do you want to do boom boom? I said, What is that? Bing bong? So Allah wanna do boom boom ourself 
and then we find that our self is women so how Allah is God but yet he is our self is a human guys do you understand what I'm saying hmm If Allah is not a man, Allah is not a human, how the partner is a human, and how he call a human ourself. Getting my point? Any Muslim have an answer? Uh, uh, additional to throwing boogers at me? By the way, the, the, uh, the, the Prophet, he used to uh, clean the boogers from the wall of the Kaaba. I can show you the reference. I mean, this is how decent the Muslims are around the Prophet, putting their boogers in the wall of the Kaaba. You today, you lick it and you kiss it, and they used to put their boogers in it. And this is why there's a, there's a, 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 a like a singer, uh, uh, he, she used to sing, uh, I can boogie, boogie, boogie. This is like a, bo a Kaaba, bo a bo you know, booger, like booger, booger. So wh what is the answer? Anyone knows? What is the answer? Additional to calling me names. Hmm? And the Muslim, they say that we never desire, by the way, it doesn't say that. Nowhere it says, and we never desire. This is like, in, you know, this is in the interpretation. But in Arabic, it doesn't say we never desire. It says if we are going to do. Nowhere it says, and we don't desire. In kunna failing. If we are going to do so. So after speaking all this time about Allah, do we understand who's Allah? No. All what we know that Allah's sexual appetite is not working these days. If he desire to f, he will f the black-eyed women. Look at this here. Allah He says to us that those are women, nobody touch them. But the fact he is, he might because remember this is a verse Allah He said fourteen hundred years ago, maybe a week after he got horny. And how Allah and Shabir Ali, they can if the same women. To make it simple for you, as long the the target is the beautiful eyed virgins, which I suspect very much they are virgins. So if this is Shabir Ali, this is brother Shabir Ali, this is Shabir Ali here. This is his beard. And this is number 19. Because wherever he go, he keep talking about number 19, number 19. Like this is what he have in his hat. So this is brother Shabir Ali. And this is his beard, which is very beautiful and very zigzy. I wish I have a beard like this beard. All right, Shabir Ali. When he go to heaven, brother, he will have the same virgins as Allah. So Allah and Shabir Ali, they have one partner. It's a beautiful, sexy, one mile ass female. By the way, I, I explained to you before why Muhammad he said that their eyes will be one mile. Anyone remember? Anyone remember? Why Muhammad he advised he told them I will give you one mile as females. The Arab, 
they like big women uh, I told you like when I was a kid uh, there is a song I did not understand really what it's mean you know I mean like because it says that she is so beautiful to the point the camel could not carry her and I was wondering what the beauty have to do with the camel carrying her but later when I start studying and researching I found that the Arab in the old days believe that if a woman she is big huge that means she is healthy and she is good in bed and she will give you a lot of babies so the bigger the better so Muhammad he knew what the Arab like so he promised them that you will have a woman her ass is one mile and by the way I am complaining still because why one mile I mean why you don't make it two miles I mean what are you losing I mean, what's wrong with this God? Why you are cheap, man? Make it two miles. What about 65 miles? I saw a TV in the other day, 65 inch. I would love to have a wife. She have 60, 65 mile bum. And don't ask me what I'm going to buy panties for her. She will be naked anyway. In America, it's called uh, big love. What big love? What if you are a small? <laughs> you know, what if you are five, five, five foot, and your wife ass alone is one mile, and she decides to sit in your lap? What will happen to you, cockroach? She will say to you, "Honey, where are you? <laughs> Honey, where are you?" And you say, "I can't breathe." <laughs> yeah. We will see you in the graveyard, brother. back to the topic so who is the muslims from those who they are in the bushes want to tell us why allah is saying if you want to have sex we will have sex with ourselves from the beautiful eyed women any muslim Any Abdul want to say something? You keep lying to us, saying ourself mean uh, His Majesty, ourself uh, Allah is one. Here we go. Allah is one, but He called Himself ourself, and when He speak about ourself, He mean effing somebody from His kind. Correct, guys? Because when I say from ourself, that's mean from our kind. If I say myself, that's mean from me. As simple as that. Ourself, it's mean it's not one. We are many, but all of us from the same kind. Self. If you don't understand English, Abdul, go and translate the word ourselves. What does that mean? So, who is the Muslim? Who is the beautiful Muslim? Cute Muslim would give us the answer. Why Allah speaking about ourself yet he is going to talk about he's talking about having sex with ourself uh, The one you call yourself CP change your name and come back The only liar here is your prophet who promised you endless penis, not me. Anyone? Who is a Muslim when I give us an answer? Maybe, maybe. You know, once I was in, uh, I was in a vacation, and there is a guy in the, you know, they have like a bar in the beach. It's a resort. And there is a guy, he will have a cup. I went there to get a cup of water. And there is a guy, he have a big cup of beer. And the other one is empty, and he was saying, Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. He won the other one. We cannot live without the beer, brother. I think the one who was making this verse, he was functioning with maybe, maybe. Too much beer. Otherwise, you tell me, you Muslims, why you cannot explain to us this verse?
كان يا عبدو ميدي ميدي anyone and as you see I'm not showing you my own statement this is your Islamic books you know this is not mine as you see and this is here you can contact the King of Jordan may Allah bless him the King of Jordan he was in Germany in Italy just two weeks ago and he was giving a speech about God and mercy and peace and all the garbage yeah all right Anyone? Let me show you what this uh, Abdul he said in Arabic. This Abdul he said in Arabic the following. I'm going to show you. To answer your question, which means about the meaning of this verse, he says, Go back to the university which taught you and ask the professor. Because they are uh, uh, like uh, 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 they made you laugh. I don't know his English, his Arabic is weird. Uh, the, uh, and the, that in the tafsir of Sunnah or tafsir of Shia, and you are using the tafsir of Shia. I'm using tafsir of Shia. I mean, uh, uh, the one your name is Tom Christ. Let me tell you something. I want you to change your name. I will not accept you in our chat here with that name ever again because you are a certified donkey. This is a Jalalain. From now on, you change your name and come back. This is a Jalalain, you donkey. This is not Shia. How stupid are you? I just said to you, the king of Jordan. Jordan is Shia country, you donkey. It's in the front of you on the screen, Tafsir al Jalalain. And you saying to me, I'm using Tafsir al Shia. How stupid are you? Thank God I'm not married and don't have a kid like you. I will commit suicide. And secondly, look what they complain about. If I use the, the Tafsir of the Shia, they say Shia are false. If I use the Tafsir of the Sunni, they say the Sunni are false. Let me tell you the good news. Both of you are, uh, are stupid. And the reason you refuse each other interpretation, because none of them make sense anyway. Now give me the interpretation makes sense to you. And instead of uh, putting your finger in your nose, digging, give me the interpretation, the correct one. What is the correct interpretation? You're my fan. Well, summer is coming. I need many fans. Thank you. What I will do with you with my, if you are my fan, my friend? <laughs> I don't even have it. I have only 351 like. I don't know why people dislike me, man. 351. Man, if I am, if I am uh, like a uh, beautiful, like Prophet Muhammad. Did you see the video about the, uh, the prophet how beautiful he is unbelievable man the guy in the video they have a back and back background in music like like a horror movie and then the man he was walking in the night and he saw the prophet he looked at the moon and he looked at the prophet he looked at the moon and he looked at the prophet he looked at the moon and he looked at the prophet and he looked at the moon and he looked at the I'm not exaggerating, he's almost crying. He looked at the moon and he looked at the prophet. Okay, what happened, man? What happened after all of this? What happened? The result is the prophet is more beautiful than the moon. I thought something will happen. It's like an American action movie, man. I mean, they make a suspense suspense music, and then like suddenly you open the door and something there, like oops, my wife with the with the with the neighbor. So all of this to tell me that the prophet is more beautiful than the moon. Who said to do, who said to you that the moon face is good? Get a telescope and you will see how ugly the moon is. He look at the moon. He look at the prophet. He look. He spent like fifteen minutes repeating the same thing. I got dizzy myself. I went to the kitchen. 
I made a sandwich. I came back. He's still saying, he look at the moon. He look at the prophet. He look at the moon. He look at the prophet. I went to the shower. I took a shower. I came back. I came back. The video is still running. He look at the moon. He look at the prophet. He look at the moon. He look at the prophet. I said to myself, let me take a nap. And I will come back to maybe tomorrow. And then I came back. He said, he's saying, he look at the moon. He look at the prophet. He look at the moon. He look at the prophet. So I forward the video because I give up. And then he said at the end, and he said, oh, by Allah, the prophet face is more beautiful and white than the moon. Ah, it's a white face. Hmm. They are flirting with the white face of the prophet. Eh, the prophet, the prophet, you know, there is a, I showed you the fatwa before, right? It says that the one who says the prophet is a black, anyone remember what it says? What, what it says? The one who say the prophet is a black, kill him. This is Islam, my friend. Very racist cult. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim would that give us an answer? By the way, to be honest with you, I I like to be black. What what I can do? <laughs> I'm waiting for a genie in the ball to make me black. Like I bought all the balls I, I can see, even in Home Depot, especially the old ones. They look old, and I like wipe my hands over them so maybe the genie will come out and he will ask me, "What do you want? What is your wish?" The first wish I will say to him, make me black for God's sake, man. And then the genie will say, why? He said, so I can have a girlfriend. Is it obvious? In Islam, it's a problem if you are black. Hmm? Is that right, Muslims? Rapso man, yeah, Jamaican, yeah, I am Jamaican. Rapso man, don't remind me of Jamaica. I went to Jamaica, and you, you, should I tell you what happened there? Uh, let me tell you what happened. This is a true story. This is Sahir Bukhari. I went to the restaurant, I made orders, I ate, and now I want to leave. So I asked the guy in the restaurant, <laughs> "What? How much?" <laughs> he said, "How much what?" I said, "How much I will pay." <laughs> He said, pay what? I said, for the food I ate. He said, you do not eat here. So what are you talking about? The, the dishes in front of me. I am sitting in his restaurant. <laughs> he is the one who brought the dishes for me. He said, you did not eat here. So what do you mean I did not eat here? <laughs> I thought this is the candy camera, the one they see, they, they, they do it in Canada. But I said, this is Jamaica. It can't be the candy camera. I said, well, what do you mean I did not pay? <laughs> You did not eat here. Don't you see the dishes in the front of me? And you are the one who brought the food. He said, "Listen to me, man. Listen to me, man. Don't make me angry. Don't make me crazy, huh? You did not eat here. Just leave." So what? <laughs> this is the result of the hashish. He took a drugs. He took a drugs. His a friend came when we were arguing. I want to pay him. I don't want to go without paying. So a guy came, looked like he's a friend. So he said, "What's happening?" I said, uh, well, "I came here. I ordered food. His, uh, you know, his. The, the, there is a waitress. She was in the kitchen. She came. She brought the food. And now I'm asking him to pay." He said, "You do not eat here." <laughs> so he said to me, "He do it always. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> he do that always. Just go." <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give you the address of the address so because you will not pay. That's beautiful. Everybody, everybody is high. Yeah, the guy he took drugs and he is high. So that's it for him. I did not eat there. I have no nothing to pay, and he don't want to see me no more. Just get out. That is Muhammad. Any Abdul? No, Zakir Naik was not there. If Zakir Naik was there. I'm sure Zakir Naik will be able to convince the guy that he ate there. He will say to him, but the up. I enter here and I ate from your food. And I have reference. And even I have witnesses. And if you don't believe me, I can show you. It's chapter 13, verse number 13, the Quran. It said that Allah is going to send the thunder to see God. 
and right away the guy he had to agree just to get rid of Zach and Nick because all the spit in the world will be in his face while he's talking. He will say whatever you say, just stop opening your mouth. Any Abdul? Any Muslim Abdul? Hmm? Yusuf Ismail call you. Call me baby? What is that? Call me. <laughs> Why when I call you? <laughs> Yusuf Ismail call me baby. What does that mean? Who are you to call you? Do you have an answer? Call me, leave a message. We will play your voice message. We will see if you are legitimate. Do you have a Facebook, uh, Yusuf Ali? Are you a scholar? Do you have a long beard? How big is your beard? Short, small, one foot, two foot, three foot? How big your beard? Okay, give us your Skype. Give us your uh, your Facebook to check you out. I blocked you. That means you are a kid. I block kids only. Do even your dad know that you are here? What if your dad now show up and you are here? Now, who is the Muslim when I tell us why Allah is saying he is going to have sex with ourself? Any Abdul? Do you remember the guy? His name is Yusuf Zdate. Yusuf Zdate. He have a Dean show. Call us if you have a Christian question. Uh, Christians, call us. So I start calling the Dean show. I call the first time, the second time, the third time, the fourth time. And the second they hear my voice, they hang up on me. The whole program, they don't take phone calls. It's a fake. Have you ever heard of a TV show? They receive phone calls in the cell phone and the phone never ring. So look, supposedly he have it in a mute. Ah, yes, brother. Uh huh, uh huh. Uh huh, brother, brother. Uh huh, uh huh. In front of the, he's holding the cell phone. But nobody's calling. I never heard of a voice of somebody calling. And I called, actually, it's in YouTube. Go, go uh, see the recording. Search Christian Prince calling the Dean Show. I recorded them. Nobody is calling because they cannot take a live call. Even in Islamic chat rooms, you know, if you go to this program, it's called Pal Talk. I used to call, uh, I used to call the, uh, uh, Islamic rooms like uh, uh, Hindu rooms. I'm not. I don't make fun of the Hindus. No, but because everybody have a red dot in his forehead. Forehead. When they give you a red dot in a chat room, that's mean you cannot text. You cannot talk. That's it. So why you are there? They are scared even from Muslims to ask questions. Everybody have a red dot in his forehead. I am so afraid always. To be honest with you, I'm terrified. How much it took me to learn so much? Learn so much about what? About Allah is going to have bang bang with himself? That's very easy. It took me two minutes. If this is what you are question asking about. It took me, my brother, only one day to go to the Kaaba. And then it took me 20 years to get out because it's so crowded, brother. And many people die, they walk in the top of each other. Any Abdul? <clears throat> so until now, we have no answer. So as you see, they don't know who is Allah. They say to us, Allah is one, but Allah, he says he want to have sex with himself, ourselves. Answer, there's no answer, just name calling. As simple as that. <coughs> Anyone? I'm telling you again, respect yourself. Hey, Ahmed, how are you? 
guys don't make Ahmad angry Ahmad is angry now he's saying I'm telling you brother I'm telling you respect yourself what you will do okay what you will do what you will do huh you will uh, sleep uh, with no shoes what what you will do we want to answer Ahmad Allah is saying if you want to have sex with have sex with ourselves, I need your help Ahmad forget respect now don't respect me Ahmad I want an answer from you Allah want to have sex with ourselves. who is ourself and how Allah will have sex hello Ben Yusuf, uh, we will see. Yeah, yeah, we will see, my brother. No, no problem. I am supposed to be a polite person. Okay, I am supposed to be a polite person. Why Allah is not polite? What kind of Allah, what kind of God you have? He described to me what is inside the vagina which the women uh, will have in heaven. Do you have an idea? What's wrong with you? Hmm? Is your God Allah polite? Brother, is your God Allah polite? Actually, one of the reasons I am still single after I saw this verse, I was confused. What is that? I thought the I thought the process is a lot easier, but after reading this, I mean, so are you saying to me I will go to heaven and need I need to open this? And suppose the Allah is doing me a favor, why he don't open it for us? We are Arab, we are lazy, we don't like to do work. Open it for us, make it ready. Let the genie do it. And what do you mean? There is no genie and there's no man did bang bang to them. What does that mean? Genie doing bang bang to them? What is the genie? Genie in the ball. See, here we go. The genie is on our way. You talk about vagina, the genie is there. You talk about sex, the genie is in your way. Even genie is going to have sex with our female women. By the way, if you are a Muslim, you have to put in your mind that you should be worried about two kinds of fornication. Your wife, she might fornicate with a Muhammadan Abdul or with a genie Abdul. Because the Muslim believed that Muslim women, they have sex with genie. If you have my books, uh, especially the last one, Sex and Allah, you will see uh, there is a story of a guy. He opened the door and he found fire in the bushes of his wife you know what bushes I'm talking about what uh, this is the proof that he's a genie because genie is made from fire otherwise how she have fire there obviously it's a genie and this is why I advise all of you to buy distinguish call Christian Prince we have the best distinguished for genie fire let's make some commercial Our distinguish is the best to turn off the fire of the genie. Any Abdul? How many of you have my book, Sex and Allah? The two volumes. How many? Hmm? By the way, in case you do not know, we have our Spanish translation for the deception of Allah is out already for those who speak Spanish. So get your copy before uh, the price will go up. The price will be like this for maybe a week. And then the price will go up to say to be equal to the English copy. So that's to let you know. Or the German. The Fr By the way, imagine, imagine. Allah decided to write the Quran in German. Unbelievable. I mean, 
why Arabic? What what's wrong with the English, with the German? Huh? Or or what about Dutch? Oh, 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 oh what about uh, uh, Chinese? <laughs> this is Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Why, why in Arabic? Why this God is racist? You know, okay. How people will understand the book if the book nobody understand Arabic anyway? Even the Arab do not know Arabic. <coughs> I I know I know. I see. I'm very humble. I don't like to tell people that I know all languages in the world except the one you know. Any language, I I speak all languages except the one you know. As simple as that. This is the only way not to get busted. What do you mean French is the best? French is the best? Lou? You know, if 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 you ever take Muhammad to the France for one day, he will add Lou in the front of every verse. He will say, Lou Allah. Lou, he is not drunk. Lou, he will take you to heaven. Lou, he will give you a lot of women. Lou, you know. First time I entered a chat room, they were saying Lul. I was saying, I did not learn that in English. And I opened the dictionary to see Lul, Lul, Lul. What is that? And nowhere I can find Lul. Alhamdulillah. Say Lul, Muhammad will add it to the Quran, trust me. This is why Muhammad he added names like Istabraq. Istabraq is like a Gucci in the time of Muhammad. He promised the Muslims in the heaven you will have special kind of clothes. Here we go. The same chapter actually. You see, this is the same chapter, <coughs> chapter 55. This is the verse that says that they will be in a in a in a mattresses, and the sheets of the mattresses, or let us say the cover of the mattresses, is made from a Gucci Istabraq. So don't be surprised if you say a word to Muhammad, he will add it there. Your school teacher, he was a Christian hater. Oh, brother, yes. My school teacher, his name is Allah. And I'm going to show you the reference. In chapter 5, brother, in the Quran, verse number 14, brother, Allah, he said, he is going to supply the Christians with a lot of hate. So as long as you are a decent Abdul who is against hate, can you explain to us why Allah will supply the Christians with hate until Judgment Day? Brother? What is the Abdul talking about hate? I mean, they lecture you about hate when Allah is saying, Hey, five, 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 how are you? Which five is you? Which one is your five? You know, you know you, your name, by the way, is the same as Muhammad. Daham. You know what Daham means? Dem, dem, ham, dem, ham, dem, ham. Listen, Abdul, your God here, Allah saying that Allah will spread hatred and enmity. He planted this is the seed of Allah. He planted this is your translation among them enmity and hatred till the day of resurrection. MashaAllah, your God, He did beat the devil. I mean, what is the job of the devil after this? What the devil is going to do? Nothing. Are you there? So now what we learn about Allah, that Allah, he is a, a, a sponsor of hate. Uh, Allah, he like to spread hate. Allah, he like to plant. Allah, he like farming. You know, did you know this guys here? We discover something is very beautiful about Allah. Very beautiful, very unique, brother. I don't know if any of you notice with me, brother. Allah, he like farming. Look how beautiful this happy is. This happy, he planted among them. Among what? The Christians. He planted what? Beautiful trees. It's called enmity. What else? Beautiful flowers. It's called hatred. Mashallah. Man, your God is so beautiful. 
So if this is what Allah He do for living shaitan, He does what? Is it vacation? Hello? Hello? He Muslims, why I have only 24 dislike? I mean, this is disappointing. Me, Christian Prince, only 24 dislike? I mean, this is insulting. I'm so upset. Let me make some coffee. Only 24 dislike me? Brother, it is haram. It is haram to see Christian Prince and you don't give him dislike. Please, brothers, give dislike immediately. We want to see 500 dislike, brother. Unbelievable. So, any Abdul here? <clears throat> be, be honest, guys. Do you enjoy being here, listening to uh, what we say here? It's fun, isn't it? I mean, look, here we learn. We laugh and we get fat. Uh, sorry to say so, because according to doctors, if you laugh a lot, you live longer, but you gain weight. So good news for you, especially if you are trying to fight uh, gaining weight. You know, sitting with me, let us see how many people will leave immediately. Oops, it was 920, 919, 917, 913, 800, 8, 700, 600, 550. 520. I mean, everybody is leaving. Me, everybody is dieting these days. Did you tell you, did I tell you what I what happened to me in India, brother? This is what sometimes like those who make uh, big speeches in the front of big popular uh, number uh, of people, uh, they make mistakes, and I made a mistake in India. Uh, they invited me, brother. Uh, this is a true story, by the way, uh, Sahir Bukhari. Uh, to make a speech in the front of uh, thousands of Hindus and I made a mistake I said to them a brother and sister if you go in the Quran the biggest chapter in case you do not know it's called the chapter of the cow and man the second I said the biggest chapter in the Quran is the cow chapter every Hindu starts saying Shahada it was the biggest mistake ever in my life however I mean how I do that Saying that the biggest chapter in the Quran is the cow chapter. What a, what a horrible mistake. But we learn from our mistakes, you know. We go back to our topic. I hate you all. <laughs> uh, <coughs> So who is the Muslim want to give us an answer? Until now, we are waiting for any brave Abdul. I mean, go search Google's, go search uh, uh, Yamamiya, you know, Ohahaya, anything, anything. You know, ask, uh, did you watch those movies? Like, you know, they, they show you like an Indian American guy and then there's a th is it, there's an eagle flying in the sky and supposedly the guy is speaking with his spirit. Mm, true story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know, always those things happen to the Prophet Muhammad. He go right away, and right away there is a angel have six hundred wings. Six hundred what? Wings. Do you know how expensive the wings? Go to Walmart and try to buy some wings, chicken wings. If you buy like ten wings, you pay like I don't know fifteen dollars. It's really expensive. Muhammad is lucky. He got an angel with 600 wings. However, the Quran says that angels have how many wings? Who remember? How many wings? <coughs> any uh, Anyone knows? Two and the three and four I that you see they are learning I see they are good and getting really good okay okay so the angels they have either two or three or four Muslims how Muhammad he saw an angel with three with 600 wings 
Anyone? <clears throat> Anyone? Who is lying here? Either Allah or the Prophet. What do you think? Uh, no, I cannot do my drawing uh, uh, because I signed a contract with a company. It's called uh, the pen of Allah. And I promised them that I will not use my pen except for their commercial. I'll, I will write only in the tablet of Allah. It goes galaxy. The galaxy, uh, 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 not, not, no, not, not galaxy eight, galaxy the great. It's the cousin of Alexander the Great. Any Muslim can explain to us how an angel can have three wings? I like to have three wings, by the way. <laughs> That's really fun. I mean, <laughs> let me tell you the benefit of having three wings. Two of them, you fly with them, and one of them you use for barbecue. <laughs> I mean, mean. That's good. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> any Abdul? Any Muslim? By the way, I assure you, Muslims, they listen to me and they die laughing. You go, if you, there's tons of recording if you go, especially like when I used to do like uh, chat rooms. Muslims, they die laughing. They cannot hold themselves from laughing. Be, because this is a very funny, stupid cult. I mean, this is, this is a comedy show. And the Muslim, he's debating me and suppose he's angry and suddenly he explores like, boom. And he's laughing. <laughs> Christian Prince, you are really funny. <laughs> you are really funny. I'm very good, man. <laughs> You are laughing at your God, Abdul. What are you doing? Come on, you cannot do that. I can laugh, you cannot laugh. It's haram. It's haram. And by the way, Allah don't like those who laugh. Allah like those who do sneeze. So if you want to express your happiness and support to Allah, you have only one choice. Either you scream with anger saying Allahu Akbar or you sneeze. Choose one. Have you ever heard of a god he likes sneezing? What do you think behind this? Muslims, honestly, I'm serious now. What do you think why Allah he likes those who sneeze? And indeed, Allah love the sneeze. What? Allah love the sneeze? <laughs> what? <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, once um, once I opened a chat room in Paltok and I call it as a sneeze for the sake of Allah. The Muslim they went to Paltok and they reported me. Do you believe it? I'm just doing charity to Allah. Allah accepted sneezing as donation. Make Allah happy, sneeze. And this is why I believe that the best time for Allah to feel good is January, February, March, you know, the flu time. And then Allah dislike yawning. Yeah. Any one of you is yawning? Why, why, uh, why Allah dislike yawning? Because shaitan he jumped inside your mouth and he laughed at you. You know, instead of Muhammad teaching them who is this God, who is this Allah, the nature of this God, he is busy teaching us this garbage. Yani, yani. The God of uh, sneezing who hate yani. So let us say, let us say this. If there is one day a big war will happen between two groups, one is the Muslims, the other one is going to do what? Allah, the other one is going to do yawning to make Allah upset. The Muslims, in return, they shoot back by sneezing. Hmm. <clears throat> 
any Muslim we go back to our topic you see we go around the bushes and still we cannot until now find a Muslim can tell us who is Allah and how Allah he says he would have sex with ourselves. How ourselves present beautiful eyed women and they are a human. Any Muslim? <coughs> so that's it, there's no Muslims. So what we will do now? We sneeze. By the way, guys, do you think it's a good idea to go vacation for the sneezing island? Allow us to see the reference about what? About sneezing? My friend, let me teach you something. Uh, if you see anything in the screen, anything in the screen, and you want to find the reference, especially if it's in English, just do that. Imagine you are copying and pasting Google. Just copy, the, you know, stop the video. Stop the video as it is, and let us say, type in, in Google, had we desire to find some diversion that which provide diversions? Stop here, you can try in Google, post it there, there copy it. Like, I mean, for sure you cannot copy a video, but you can type it, and then you will find the reference. Very easy. You know what I mean, guys? Very easy. Yeah, I, I'm thinking, uh, why there is no island? It's called a sneezing island. Like the Maldives, they are very beautiful and they are controlled by uh, uh, ISIS. By the way, the Maldives is a very dangerous place to go. Many of you, they like to go there, I know. But it's controlled by Sharia law country and ISIS is growing there so fast. So take, take a note. And I will not be surprised if they change the names of the Maldives to be called, let us sne the sneezing islands. <clears throat> Hmm? Why I don't tell speak and corner? I don't tell people what to do in their in their business. This is their business. I don't tell people what to do. You can do whatever you want. If they need to do so, they can do it. It's up to them. Anyone? <clears throat> I am low in IQ, absolutely. I mean, brother, <laughs> you wanna tell me about it? I mean, I can tell. I'm very low in the IQ to the point I believe that if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. And if the men have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. <laughs> I mean, do you see how the problem is big, brother? And I am low in the IQ to the point I believe that if you sneeze, Allah He love you, and if you fart, uh, sorry, if you if you if you nah, if you yawn, this is from Shaitan. Allah will or Shaitan will love it. Who is the one who have a low IQ? Fi, who is the one who have a low IQ? The one who say this is story or the one who believe it? Please come on, tell me, be honest. Hmm? Oh, hold on. Forget about yawning and let us go to farting, something more expensive. Your prophet, man, he have a he have a special skills and knowledge. When Shaitan, when Shaitan hears the call to prayer, he turn his back and break winds. Oh boy. And I was wondering when I was in the Middle East, why the smell is so bad. I mean, why in the world the smell is so bad everywhere we go? Bingo, the prophet. The, and look here, guys. Look here how the prophet, he explained to us what happened. The shaitan, not only he fought, he turned his ass at us. Unbelievable, disgusting. You say Allah, shaitan turned his ass and fought at you. Which means, there's eternal connection between fart and Allah. You say Allah fart come. Hey Abdul, how the prophet he knew this? I mean, do you hear it? 
How the prophet knew that? I mean, your prophet is genius, man. Where is the guy who accused me with low IQ? Black holes is mentioned in the Quran. My friend, black holes is mentioned here in the hadith. Don't you see it? <laughs> this is the black hole. <laughs> According to the Muslims, shaitan is a black and he is farting. This is the black hole. <laughs> Black hole, black hole in the Quran. <laughs> Unbelievable! I like you, brother. I like you. You know, just remind you to make you an admin when we uh, we are not doing our show. Any Abdul? <clears throat> Where is this guy, Fee? What happened, Fee? Are you okay, Fee? I hope you are okay. Do you guys know that Muhammad he said when a Muslim he praying shaitan take care from his anus anus? Do you know that? Who is a Muslim here? He say I I challenge you to prove it. Who is a Muslim when I challenge me? Hmm? I'm drinking coffee by the way, which means I will lose my voice because always when I drink coffee I have allergy. But I can't resist this no more. I mean, that, I, that's it. I'm going to die without it. Muslims, who is a Muslim when I talk about low IQ? Me or you who believe that shaitan take care of from your anus when you pray? Huh? Am I lying? Who is the Muslim or Mohammedan? Sorry for saying Muslim. Who is a Mohammedan? Wanna challenge me to prove it? My brother in Allah, your anus under the conspiracy. Shaitan brother, wanna take care of him, your anus. KGB, CIA. Shaitan, all of them they are doing conspiracy against you, and they would do, do all of this to do one thing to hurt you as a Muslim by doing what by taking hair from your anus. Is that true? <clears throat> Hello. Who is the Muslim when I say to me, you are a liar? Get me busted. And I don't, you know, I like to be challenged. Come on. Hello? Hello? Uh, look, look, look at the Muslim. He's speaking in text. He says, do you hear me? <laughs> do you hear me? <laughs> the Muslim is praying for me. May Allah curse you. Wallahi, wallahi, you will cry, brother. Well, let, me, let me show you the, the text of this guy. Hold on, hold on. Look, look, CB, ZB, do you hear me? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Wallahi, which means by Allah. CB, you will cry river <laughs> in the dunya <laughs> and in the, in, in the, in the last day. <laughs> Brother, I'm crying from laughing. I cry for two reasons, onion and your prophet making a speech. <laughs> I'm crying already. My, don't you see? We, we cry from laughing here. What is that, Abdul? What What is that? And shaitan take care from your anus? Why? I mean, is your prophet really serious? Did, did your prophet experience that? I, I'm just asking. I mean, if the prophet saying that, obviously, he himself, he, uh, he suffered from it. Did Shaitan take care from his anus? When when you Muslims you hear your prophet saying such a statement, and you always speak about uh, IQ. Where is your IQ? Huh? But where is the guy who posed for me? And the other day he said to me, Misnad al Imam Ahmad. Uh, he's the guy who called himself Tom. 
Hey Tom, because you like uh, Imam Ahmed. Here we go. A brother, volume number ten, a brother, hadith number one one eight five one, and hadith number one one eight five two. Guys, do you notice how we close the Arabic to the Chinese? One one like one one, you know, like John Sean one one one. I mean, that's that's Chinese. So one one eight five one and one one eight five two. It says, and the Prophet talking at me. In the Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, قال. إن الشيطان يأتي أحدكم وهو في صلاته فيأخذ شعرة من ذبره فيمدها فيرى أنه قد أحدث فلا ينصرف حتى يسمع صوتا أو يجد ريحا Translation <laughs> Shall we translate it with smell or without smell? The Prophet said Satan he come to you to the individual of you while he is doing salah praying which means when you bend over which is perfect perfect position and he take he straight out he straight out not only he take a hair i mean look at the prophet how he described it it's amazing beautiful so he hold the hair in your anus and he straight it out first like he did not just pull it right away fast no he want to hurt you so he straight it out and he like push, 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 push until he take it out and he will not stop in that until he make you fart and he hear it and he smell it. Now who is the Muslim want to say to me I'm lying? Hmm? Brother, you're a prophet, absolutely genius. And there is no way he is not telling the truth. I witness to that. I mean, I went to the mosque many times, and I the smell there is so bad. We have to admit. Hmm? Where is the guy who says to me, "You have low IQ"? Where is the guy who said to me he liked the book of Musa Ahmad? Hello. Mm -hmm. it, by the way, I mean a Muslim you can examine if it's true or not because if you are praying all your life and shaitan take care from your anus I mean by two months you will be bold there. Are you? You pray five times a day. So that, does that mean you fart five times a day too during the prayer? And how painful it is to be a Muslim. Thanks to thanks, thank God I'm not a Muslim. Imagine every time I'm gonna pray, somebody is a shaitan, he pushed there, take care of him. That's and it's painful there. All right, all right. I give up. I give up. So you Muslims, you made articles about who is Allah. Until now, we got nothing, no answer. You do not know who is Allah. Let us summarize who is Allah. In Islam, Allah is a physical being. Christians remember that. Allah is not a spirit. He has no spirit in Islam. So don't mix between the God of Islam and the God of Christianity. They have nothing to share, neither in nature, neither in ethic, neither in teaching, neither in the law. Nothing they share. Their God is a pagan, stupid cult created by crazy person as you see making fun of those Arab naive people saying to them that shaitan take care from their anus and you can imagine what kind of people around him to believe in such a thing what kind of a prophet and what kind of followers they listen to such a man and he say such a thing from their fruits you shall know them go and read the teaching of Jesus and see how wise amazing high noble the teaching and the talk of Jesus and look Muhammad talking about anus and fart and he are taken from your anus shaitan put his foot there what about shaitan he play with your anus hold on there's a video I wish I can play for you but I'm afraid if I play it for you half of you will die from heart attack from laughing anyone knows what the video I'm talking about now give me a second I will find you the video so you can watch it in your own risk 
I don't want anyone to sue me. I ha I am not responsible. Discrimination. This no discrimination. I mean, this guy he learned our English. He want to talk a disclaimer. You see the Arab. I mean, <laughs> disclaimer, disclaimer, not discrimination. Unbelievable. Uh, <clears throat> Let us see. <clears throat> All right. Search for this video. I will put for you on the screen. Or you know, like there's a just search for Shaitan Fart. Like this one, somebody did it and put my uh, book there. Uh, make Shaitan Fart. All right, five minute videos. Watch it, but be careful. You might uh, don't drink. Shahrazad, come on, Shahrazad. You know we got it. We got it. Don't repeat the same thing. Any Abdul? No, I cannot play it. First of all, the smell will be all over. Secondly, some of you will die and your wives will sue me for losing her husband became widow. Number three, uh, <clears throat> I am not responsible for losing any furniture at home. Any Abdul? The guy here, he explained to you how shaitan, even he go inside your anus. That's what Muhammad said. يلعب الشيطان في مقعدته الشيطان, the shaitan, he will go inside your anus when you go to the bathroom if you don't say the prayer. There's a prayer to protect you. If you say the prayer, brother, you will become invisible. True story. You say the prayer, shaitan cannot see you no more. You go blind, like, where are you? Where are you? Like, shaitan is like, where are you? Hey, ZB, where are you? Now, Shaitan, he cannot see me. I can I can do my business now. If you don't say that prayer and you are Abdul, Shaitan right away, he will bring his screwdriver and his wife will be with him. She will help him, screwdriver, drill, all in your anus. And then he will get inside. I'm not kidding, just watch it. I'm sure many of you now, they will leave this page and they will go watch it there. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I cannot, I cannot, because they will, uh, they will claim copyright over it. I wish, otherwise, it's going to be really funny, hilarious, and many of you might convert to Islam after that. And this is my real worry. You see, I, sometimes I make excuses, which is not true. This is a real excuse. I believe if you watch this video, you will convert to Islam. You cannot resist this. No way. The wisdom of the Prophet. Beyond farting imagination. Oh, Muslim proper? Why? Why? Why you are saying it's so boring? Why? Are you are you insulting the prophet? Are you saying the prophet is boring because we are talking about your prophet? If Shaitan hear the prayer, he fart. So Muslim, why you are saying this is boring? And by the way. Your prophet is the first one to discover the real reason behind the global warming. <laughs> a lot of farting, which is a methanol. Do you see the real reason behind the global warming? It's not what they lie to you, those uh, liberals, they say to you, cars and blah, 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 and madness. It is the fart of shaitan. And we have the prophet Muhammad, who is the first scientist in the world who discovered this. 1.4 billion Muslims are praying to Allah five times a day. All the shayateen in the world, they have to fart until they finish the prayer. Can you imagine how much fart is that? Hmm? <clears throat> it is not methanol. What is the fart then? Excuse my English. Guys, what is the, what is the fart? Is, is, is it the fart methanol? What the fuck is you know by the way i have two degrees in uh, <clears throat> in chemical i have two, uh, 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 two phd uh, one about how to cook an egg 
and this is chemical because you know you have to add oil in the fryer you break the egg and then you like uh, this is this is my first phd the second phd it's in 14. <clears throat> this is ammonia are you serious uh, no, 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 no. I don't agree with you. First of all, I believe Shaitan, his fortune is, is, is more expensive <laughs> and unique because he eat a lot of beans. <laughs> Unbelievable. I hate you all. I hate you. Truly, truly, I hate you. Any Abdul? <clears throat> Yeah, the fart is a gas too, and it's flammable, by the way. Don't you know that? Don't you know that fart is a flammable? So actually, if somebody fart, if you put a fire in front of it, you will have fire in the house. I'm, I'm serious. Never fart in the front of your fireplace gas. It will burn your pajama. Fire will be in your ass. <laughs> I'm serious. It is flammable. This is why sometimes you see in the sewage explosion, like if somebody throw fire or etc. This is why those who work in the sewage, they are not allowed. They have to use oxygen with them, and they have to open it a few hours before they get in, and they cannot smoke inside because that that means you are you are seeking a big explosion. You would die. <clears throat> Oh, uh, say it with Zach and Nike style. What does that mean? W what do you mean? We'll say what? <coughs> and please don't involve don't involve bro brother Zach and Nike with farting. This is far away from his specialty. Prophet, uh, sorry, brother Zach and Nike. His specialty is a lot more classified. <coughs> higher, higher. Any Abdul? All right, I'm going to stop for today. Uh, today is a Friday, and you guys, maybe you have a, your family and your friends. Uh, the only me, poor me, I'm, I'm here alone, reading about farting. All of you, you have friends. I'm alone. Me, Allah, Muhammad, Shaitan, I'm farting. What a life. Should I have some change? I mean, I, I need, I need, I deserve some change in my life. Let us change to something better. I mean, what this is about farting? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I cannot take it no more. So we, we will change to something nicer. Okay. Let us talk about something more cute and more lovely. Lizard. mean why you cannot find it First of all, we go before we go to phys, uh, the with lizard. Let us talk about the mouse, brother. The prophet, he gave us advice to turn the fire off before you sleep, because the mice will turn the whole house in fire. Number two, enemy of Allah. The Geigo. If we search for Geigos, hold on, let us search for Geigos. Uh, am I saying the word Geigo or correctly? Sure, wrong. Sure, it's wrong. I never said an English word correctly. Unbelievable. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> In purpose. <clears throat> Uh, 
my friends let me introduce to you one of the enemies of Allah do you know that this is an enemy to Allah and every Muslim he have a duty to kill it another way to do jihad against it yes brother Allah consider this an enemy to him brother and actually I believe that this one is the most wanted lizard for Allah and the reason for that look how he is looking up and he's challenging Islam and obviously he have Islamophobia problem uh, anyone knows why why this uh, poor animal is wanted by Allah and every Muslim have to kill it Hmm? Anyone? <clears throat> Hello? You don't know why? I'm really disappointed. I mean, how dare you? <laughs> hey, brother, let us do some investigation, brother. This, this creature, brother, he did a lot of harm. He tried to kill Prophet Abraham. And brother, I was there, and this is a true story. Abu Huraira reported that the Prophet, may Allah bless him, saying, he who killed the Jago, Will with first strike, there are 70 rewards for him. If, 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 if. Okay. <clears throat> the prophet called him to be killed, calling it a nexus little creature. Okay. Getting more exciting here. The prophet. You know, you go to the FBI website, you will see the most wanted person, and there's a reward. So imagine this is the website of Allah. This is actually it is, you know, this is the FBI of Allah. He announcement, he who killed the Jago with the first strike or Gaigo with the first stroke for him are or denied 100 deeds or rewards. And the one with the second shot, less than that. And the one who kill him with the third one, less than that. I mean, look at the wisdom here. If you kill him from the first shot, Allah give you 100,000 dollar. If you kill him with the second shot, uh, eh, maybe we'll give you maybe 70. If you, give, if you kill him with the third shot, eh, I mean, maybe 30. Why you want to do that? Kill him from the first shot, man. So now we learned that the Mujahideen, when they see a lizard in the street or anyone, they have to kill him. They cannot let him go. ISIS, they have war against lizard. This is why they were busy uh, in Iraq and Syria. A lot of lizard there. But let's read this story. <clears throat> A woman entered upon Aisha, and in her hand was an iron footed stick. She said, What is this? She, Aisha, said, It is for those geigos, because the Prophet of Allah told us that it was nothing that did not try to extinguish the fire of Abraham, the translation here wrong, except for this animal. 
so guys when they tried to kill Abraham by the fire all the animals they were shouting bring water elephant birds chickens a tort even turtles even turtles they came to stop the fire of Abraham the only one he was not helping in the top of that he was trying to burn Abraham it was this one do you know what he was doing anyone knows what he was doing Who knows what what the lizard was doing? No, nobody knows. I'm so disappointed. No, he was blowing fire at him. He's a dragon. Look, look, look at him. Look at him. I mean, come on. I mean, we have to be honest here. Do you see? He was blowing fire. So all the animals were trying to stop the fire except Mr. Dragon. He was trying to burn Abraham. And by the way, let me show you my arm. I have here an injury. If you don't believe me, I swear by Allah. Uh, here, uh, the, the, uh, the 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 uh, this uh, lizard. He once uh, because once I was in the, uh, the in the jungle in uh, uh, Brazil in Saudi Arabia. Uh, you know, we were crossing the borders from Venezuela because we want to be a refugee in America, which is in the borders of Iraq. And then we crossed it, and we found ourselves, you know, like in in uh, in the Soviet Union. Uh, and and then like we decided to take uh, like a di di you know like uh, some some meal, and uh, we said to ourselves, uh, let us uh, you know like uh, make fire. And uh, there's no fire in Alaska, so we said, okay, what we can do in Alaska without fire? So we look for Jigo. And we said, Jigo, can you turn the fire for us? And he blew fire, but you know, because it was too very powerful, very powerful. as you know, in uh, uh, as I told you, I, I, in Alaska, which is uh, in Buenos Aires, uh, it was very, very, very cold there. And uh, I have a fire here in my arm. True story. I mean, why people don't believe my story? How come you believe the story of Muhammad, but you don't believe my story? What's wrong with my story? Anything is missing. <laughs> so you must not believe in the story of Muhammad, but you don't believe in my story. Why? I mean, this is not even fair. <laughs> Unbelievable. I, I am, I'm really jealous. Really, really jealous. Why you don't believe in my story? Why? What's wrong with the story? This is true, true story. <laughs> they have witness <laughs> oh boy anyway um, you are Muhammad you are Muhammad hijab a friend <laughs> let us debate <laughs> Let me ask you a question. What does that mean? Are you his girlfriend? What does that mean? I mean, so if you are his friend, so what does that mean? Does that mean you are qualified to debate me? The guy, Mimi Hijab, he don't dare even to say hello to me. <laughs> Brother, I was, he was in the pocket of Muhammad Hijab one day. <laughs> Open your scarf and debate me. <laughs> oh, boy. <coughs> good one, good one, brother. Good one. I mean, you prove to us that you are a sheikh now. You are a friend of the guy who said, Allah, he pray for, not to. <laughs> you are the friend of the guy who said, <laughs> for 4,000 years, 4,000 years, the Jews, they've been commanded to worship God only. So the Quran is a book of lies. The Quran says the Jews, they worship a guy. His name is Uzair. Anyway. Okay, guys, I will let you go. Today is a Friday. Enjoy your time with your family. If you are married, be good to your wife. Give her a smile. She's working all day, taking care of you. If you are a wife, be beautiful. Be nice to your husband. Be lovely to your children. Try to have peace. Try to bring joy to your family. Love is very beautiful. And if you don't have it in your life, you better create it. Fun is very important. Love is very good. In the same time, be smart. And don't make a fool 
like the fool we are speaking about fooling you then it is shame on you to be fool and to be a fool is not an excuse not to be judged for being foolish so we have to be vigilant smart careful and educated I'm so glad to have you here that all of you are learning and I will be happy uh, to meet you soon again maybe tomorrow and we hope that soon we will have a brave sheikh who have the courage and the knowledge to come and say I want to debate you if you know anyone he is or he claimed to be a sheikh shaky one or not shaky doesn't matter or what you need to do make a video if you want or post a challenge in Facebook in your official account and we will verify that you are really someone who is qualified to debate me and give us your uh, Skype and we will be happy to call you I do not need a topic don't tell me what the topic the one who know he knows he do not need to know a topic open debate whatever you wish and we go for it so thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you and don't forget if you like to learn more and to educate yourself you can get my books which is written in many languages and remember we have our book translated finally to Spanish in case you speak Spanish tell your friends to read our books and this is another way to support what we do. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon. Bye-bye.